The biggest news in sports, the biggest news in Philippine government, and the biggest news in entertainment, especially Hollywood. And yes, it has something to do with Twilight. As Cabo Bay in LA starts right now. Mabuhay mga kababayan! Happy Wednesday! You are watching America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. My name is Janelle Sawyer, kababayan in Los Angeles where hanggang ngayon po ay pinag-uusapan pa rin ang laban ng Manny Pacquiao at Ma Juan Manuel Marquez, part 3. And joining me this afternoon is a good senator from the Philippines, Honorable Senator Coco Pimentel from the Philippines. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you, Janelle, for having me. At si senator po ay nanood din ng fight ni Pacquiao. Nga pala pinapasabi ni Father Marlon Boff na uh, spiritual advisor ni Manny. Na thank you daw because you read the readings very well dun sa Thanksgiving. Yes, uh, uh, it was my honor and privilege to have been part of that Thanksgiving Mass. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, Senator, um, kamusta ba yung panonood nyo ng uh, Pacquiao Marquez? What did you think of the fight? What did you think after? I'm sure you spoke to Manny after the fight. Uh, alam nyo, I was expecting or I wanted a match. Mm -hmm. And I saw a match. Yes, yes. Some people wanted a mismatch. Mm -hmm. I, it was not a mismatch. It was really a, a, a boxing uh, duel. No? And uh, they were evenly matched. And uh, I am all praises for Marquez. For, because the odds makers, uh, you know, belittle this ability. Yes. Uh, the odds makers, but not me. I wanted to see a match. And I, I was very happy. I saw a match. And then the ending in my opinion, was a deserved victory for uh, for the champion Manny Pacquiao. In my opinion, although I'm not, uh, let's say, I'm not experienced a boxing in, expert, or a boxing yeah. expert or a boxing judge, mm -hmm. but in my opinion, he really won the match mm -hmm. in points. Right. And then, of course, he was the defending champion. Because mm -hmm. yun eh. If Marquez were pro uh, proclaimed the winner, he would have been champion. Yes. And tanong, ano, what did he do? To deserve, be be, to, yes. to deserve uh, being the champion. Uh -oh. Wala rin naman eh. Uh -oh. Depensa and counterpunch. But uh, this, uh, this, uh, this style doesn't make one a champion. And that's why I was saying also, I'm also not a boxing expert nor a judge, uh -huh. no? but I was saying that Marquez's performance was worthy because it, uh, it, it went be beyond expectations of what people expected from him. But then at the same time, it wasn't worthy to beat a champion. Correct. The, expect Correct. Uh, the performance wasn't worthy enough to beat a champion. And that's why, you know, we're so happy for Manny. Did you get to talk to Manny after? Uh, no, I just, I just shook his hand uh, mm -hmm. during the mass and... Uh, I uh, told him uh, congratulations, Manny. Oh, uh. oh, oh. Pero medyo kawawa din yung ating pambansang kamauno kasi may mga may sugat sa labi at uh, uh, may This stitches. is boxing, Janelle. Yeah. E even even Marquez, pag tingnan mo naman si Marquez, mm -hmm. pulang-pula din yung mukha niya right, doon no right. fight. So, mm -hmm. uh, from from the physical looks, mm -hmm. well, it was, it, you, could, you could not say who, who would be the winner right. kasi pareho silang may injuries. So, but, you know, uh, the boxing judges know what to look for. Mm -hmm. And they look for, uh, let's say, the punches which uh, which count. Right. And then they look for aggressiveness. Effective uh, aggression. Yes. Because this is boxing. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. So that congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. What are your thoughts still on Manny? Uh, there was news that came out. I think that was yesterday. Na ang uh, Congress daw uh -huh. eh hindi raw nagpaplanong magawa ng uh, uh, victory party. party for for Congressman Manny Pacquiao. Well. Uh, that is that is that would be understandable if that is for, because of budgetary reasons. Mm. But if, uh, if if not for budgetary reasons, they should give him a party because he won mm -hmm. and he brought honor to our country. Mm -hmm. So well, uh, ako na unahan na lang yata ako ni senator na isang senator to in filing a resolution congratulating Manny Pacquiao. But if I had been there, you know, I, I would have filed that resolution. Right. But if you had been in the Philippines, senator, you'd be very busy because you would be uh, somewhat in the middle of this uh, news right, also right. that involves former President mm. Gloria Macapagal Oro and the WLO and the TRO. Let's first define those uh, those acronyms para dun sa mga hindi masyadong uh, aware about this. Right. WLO is watch list order. Yes, so that what is, happened? That means that uh, the Secretary of Justice put these personalities, uh, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and her husband, uh, Mike Arroyo, 
on a list, mm -hmm. uh, so-called watch list. Yes. Uh, so, she, 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 so she issued uh, an order to put them on the list. Mm -hmm. And be, uh, people on the list cannot just leave the country without permission from the Secretary of Justice. Okay. So that is the practical effect of being in this watch list. And so the, the first couple, the former first couple, questioned this before the Supreme Court. Yes, okay. they filed a complaint. So there is a main petition before the Supreme Court. Mm -mm. But before the Supreme Court will uh, decide on the main petition, sometimes the Supreme Court gives a preliminary or temporary relief. And this is called the TRO, mm -hmm. the uh, Temporary Restraining the order. order. So the Supreme Court says that, uh, in the TRO says that, uh, Secretary of Justice, we are restraining you from uh, enforcing the watch list order or putting them in the watch list order. So that is now the issue. Which is why a lot of people are saying this could be, uh, this could be the start of a constitutional crisis because according to the Constitution now, what is constitutional ba? Sino bang mas mataas at sino bang dapat nasusunod? Uh, Secretary of Justice or ang Supreme Court? Ah, okay. If, if the comparison is between the Secretary of Justice and the Supreme Court, in the constitutional scheme of things, the Supreme Court is higher right. because all orders of this or uh, decisions of the Secretary of Justice are questionable before lower courts, actually, even before a regional trial court. And then it, it can be appealed all the way up to the Supreme Court. Right. But Secretary but, Delima mm. now is standing her ground and saying na hindi niya tatanggalin sila sa watch list order. And yes. Uh, uh, the reason uh, I, I, I read, uh, she used the, the, the fact, it's a fact that, that she has not read the order. Mm. That's, a good, that's a good reason because if I were the secretary, before I will comply with an order, I need to read it. Right. Because uh, although we call it a TRO, it should be a well-written TRO because the, 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 the person to whom the TRO is, is addressed is supposed to comply with the terms of the TRO. So you, sh you, sh you should read what, uh, what, 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 are, what is the commandment, uh, what is the order of the court, then you read. But uh, if, she has, if, he, if she has already received a copy, that was, that was her first reason, eh, that she has not received a copy. But maybe now she has received a copy, but she, the department is entitled to file a motion for reconsideration. Okay. Uh, especially, and habang pinapail po yung motion hmm. for reconsideration, um, anong nangyari? Stay lang. The general rule, uh -huh. kasi ganyan yan, eh. oh. the general rule is that if a decision is under or pending motion for reconsideration, status quo. Okay. That is okay. the general rule. Right. That is why uh, some people are, are uh, some people are telling the public that uh, a TRO is effective immediately. Right. So, I mean, so it's not. No, the general rule is no, no order is effective immediately. Ah. But the question is, uh, is this TRO effective immediately? So okay. actually, it's, actually the, the Secretary of Justice, Secretary Laila de Lima, has a point in, you know, uh, further reviewing uh, right. three times or four times the issue. And it's more interesting than this because this tells something about Philippine politics <laughs> and the way we run things in the Philippines. We're going to be talking about that with a good senator here when we return on the show. Don't go away.